so weird in a ponytail. My hair like shrinks like 15 inches. Not a fan! I'm such a bad wedgie. Ugh. Hey guys, so today I am doing a video all about sexy skin for the summertime because I don't know about you, but for me summertime means chances are I'm not wearing much clothing. If I'm home alone, chances are there's zero clothing involved. And my favorite thing is having super soft skin. Not that I have like a boyfriend to like run his hand up my thigh, but like I can be like, oh Megan, I appreciate you and the effort you put in to have nice skin. Do it for yourself, y'all. I recently featured this in a haul, and these are the Out Relief Wax Strips from Sally Hansen, and it really inspired me to kind of take my skincare routine to like the next level, or my body care routine. That sounds like, take care of your body, feed it fruits and vegetables. But aside from that, it kind of really inspired me to not like haphazardly like shave my legs and like slap on some moisturizer like out of the shower. I really kind of come up with this whole like routine, which is really nice, and it makes my skin feels so nice and glows and everyone's been commenting in person like oh my gosh your legs are like glowing and I'm like thank you I don't drink glow sticks for breakfast <laughs> I've just come up with this so when I did that haul a lot of you guys requested me to give you a demo showing you how to use the waxing strips and everything like that and I've kind of developed this whole routine that goes with it so if you guys want to see how I get my soft and sexy hairless legs for the summer time keep on watching So the ingredients you're gonna need are coconut oil, brown sugar, and a lime. And the tools are a mason jar, a zester, if that's what it's called, and a spoon. So first you're just gonna put the coconut oil into the mason jar. And for this you're basically gonna want one part coconut oil to two parts sugar. It really doesn't matter, just measure out how much you think you'll need, completely depending on you and how much you wanna make. If you wanna start making a little smaller batch, you could, but for me I am just scooping in some coconut oil into the container and then adding in some more brown sugar until I basically get the consistency that I want. You want it to be pretty darn grainy because it is going to be exfoliating your skin and really scrubbing it so you want more sugar than you do oil now lime doesn't really have any special meaning in this it just smells really good with the coconut so zest about half a lime in there and then you're gonna want to microwave this for about 10 to 15 seconds to get a liquidy consistency and then at this point more likely than not you're gonna want to add even more brown sugar to make it even more grainy to the wax kit. So the first thing that you start with is the pain relief pre-wax wipe. And this is really important to let this set for 10 minutes after you've applied this to your like desired like legs or anything like that because you really want it to seep into your skin. Listen to the packaging, okay? There's instructions for a reason, y'all. Let's uh, clean down the legs, y'all. So I'm kind of just gonna like stand up and uh, show you my legs. There's not a not awkward way to do this. So taking the little pre-wax wipe, I'm just going to go over every part. If you find that it's feeling like a little dry, you could use two, but I find one is really all you need. And I'm like 5'9", so if I can use one, all you, all you shoddies out there could too. So. so now we wait for 10 minutes for this to kind of set into your sin and sink in. I feel like Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. <sighs> Okay, so 10 minutes have passed. I watched a YouTube video, I ate some snacks, and now it's time to the nitty gritty. Time to wax. So these are what the wax strips look like. The kit comes with a ton of them and they're really big. So what the kit says that you should do is rub them between your hands and warm them up. So now the wax is all melty and you peel it apart and you've got two little sides of wax. So let's go quick, guys. Should we just do two right here? Okay. So. You rub them on. Rub, rub, rub a dub, rub a dub. So, this is the next step, is you're going to pull the skin taut or like tight. So pull up from here, and you wanna make sure that you're pulling up. So basically just away from the hair growth. Your leg hair grows down like this, like a little alpaca. And so you wanna wax it up. So you pull it all the way from the hair follicle. So, what you're gonna do is just pull this part tight with one hand, hold on here, and rip it off. And now it's all smooth. So now we're gonna pull the skin tight, hold here, and rip off. 
and it doesn't even hurt and it's so smooth so we're in an awkward squatting motion but to remove any excess wax and this is kind of like helping with like the pain if it hurt we've got this little thing little blue stuff put it on a cotton pad and just wipe that where you waxed it's got a nice cooling effect and I do have pretty sensitive skin so you can see it does get a little bit red but look how nice and shiny and glowy my skin is and hair free oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah so the last part of my body care routine is moisturizer and I basically bathe in moisturizer I love it and the two that I really swear by is this first one is the Nivea Sunkissed radiant skin and this is like a gradual self tanner it does kind of have a little bit of a self tanning smell but I don't know about you guys when I smell self tanners it just reminds me of summer so I'm not like put off by the scent of it all it's just like oh my god it smells like summer I like this one a lot more than I like the Jergens. it does have a little bit of like shimmer in it which I think looks really nice and glowy on the skin and it really works and this other one is the righteous body butter by soap and glory I really like body butters more than I like lotions typically because they're a lot thicker and creamier this smells absolutely heavenly it smells so nice. I've used so much of it, as you can tell, and it's a really thick consistency, and it really absorbs into your skin and doesn't leave you feel oily or anything like that, and it just really keeps your skin moisturized for a really long time, and I absolutely love this one. The scent is a little strong on it, but I've yet to meet anybody who doesn't like this scent, so I love it. So for me, when I use these, my skin stays hairless for so much longer than when I shave. What I like about this is I, my leg hair is actually relatively short and it still works, which is really nice. So you don't feel like you have to have this like long hibernation period of getting like a warm fuzzy blanket wrapped around your entire body before you can wax it off again, which is just counterproductive in my head. Okay guys, well I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see the full recipe of the DIY body scrub, that will be listed in the down bar along with all of the products used, moisturizer, shoppable links, and everything like that. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will talk to you with your sexy summer legs later.